We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. He said, everything's a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are a weakened, real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel if Sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing? We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son, and you saw him 10 times out of two years that we lived one mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of rapping me or wow. raping me. He said, wow. Hey, look, I'm not going to say that again, but um, yeah, I got me you. And physically abusing me, you are no longer my oppressor and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the last hope I've had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. So he's calling her a little sex worker. <laughs> He called. I, 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 I'm not privy to the information of what happened, but he called her. She was. Woman. She was on. She was in a lawsuit and and Diddy's joint. Okay. Yes. <laughs> she was in the paperwork as one of. It was her and Young Miami. So they were saying that in the paperwork, it was it was said that her and Young Miami was Diddy's. Sex workers, little sex workers. Yo, you know what's so funny? I, I was it? waiting for Shatita to be in just so I could be like, "Yo, Fifty's guilty," but I'm not gonna do. I was, I'll be capping, but it'd have been funny because you know how he's always saying, you know, somebody's guilty. But right, look, right. his man is being accused for rape. All right, so listen, I want to ask y'all. I want to ask the chat. Do y'all think is this media takeout? Is she capping? Cap or no cap or her? I don't think. All right, so I'm gonna say. It was just not to no cap or no cap, but I don't think yeah. she's capping. I think she's fed up of... Hold on, so you think being... 50 really raped her? No, I'm not saying that aspect. She yeah, said a lot well. more than just that, though. Yeah, <laughs> she said a lot more than... See, that was a big thing of this entire conversation, but a lot of it was him being an absent father. Which I, I mean, that's the biggest believe. thing, though. Yes, but that's added on to everything else, and she's feeling attacked, so she's going to say... She said she said that, and she said that he's uh, physically abusing her, et cetera, et cetera. So he's beating so, her and raping her. That's what. It, that's what. Yeah, that's what she stop said. Can you stop saying say great, please? Oh, okay, you great. Know, okay, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. <laughs> and um, yeah. So there's a lot to unpack on it. Now, the first part of it, I do think he probably is an absent father. He has a history of that, and with his okay. first son, um, he 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 tried to be a little bit better with the second, but old habits die hard in a sense especially now he's more busy than he was when he was probably rapping okay um when he had his first son you know because by the time he actually popped off his first son anyway i'm not gonna get into that but he had time to be there for his son out instead of being in the streets and then he popped up with the music etc yeah. so he still wasn't there so he has a habit of doing that um don't come at me 50 i'm just reporting what you said all right um 50 coming what was said you're done now you're as cook. far as the <laughs> as far as the the grape and the physically abuse him. She separated herself from it, so she did the right thing. Um, now why? Hold on, but you think that's true, though? You have, you have, I guess you think that's true. Well, I don't. I can't. I'm not in a place to to say if it's true or not. But I'm no. She, that that is the media takeout. This is cap or no cap, bro. From you hearing her saying, "Do you think that you know what, what is your brain telling you?" Like, hold on. It, there might listen. be some, there might be uh, some truth, but I don't think he he, he raped her. I don't think that, but I, I okay. do. He probably did physically and emotionally abuse her. I don't okay. think he raped her though. So you think Fifty is a physically and emotional abuser? Well, yes, because he's manipulative. Like if we know oh, he's how, a manipulative his, man now. Hell Good yeah! Job. Have you? You're cooked. <laughs> listen, no, I'm not. Nah, listen, I'm joking. I'm joking. The way he, he just look at how he interacts with how he bullies other people just okay. based on how he You're does done. stuff on the internet. He, so he's a bully now. He's definitely <laughs> a bully. Done. He's I definitely can't. a bully. 
like like on the internet the minute somebody that he don't like or some or he, he's on they tail he's making fun of them he's on and like it's like it's like you get a hint a, a smell of red meat okay. and 50 don't let go that's 50 so that doesn't just stop at entertainment right that's that right, carries right. on and everything else that's that's kind of your personality because you got to have that if, if you're a person that that like once you're doing something you're obsessive about it yeah. That doesn't change with other things. Right. You know I mean, I, um, for y'all, y'all can understand that with music, whatever whatever you do, if you're a person that consistently does something, when you do something, you're going to be 100% consistently doing something. If you're a person that likes to dibble, like me personally, I like a per- I'm like, I'm more of a person that likes to try a doubt. I might not stick with it, but I like to have my hands in there. A lot of different things to at least understand it. And that's going to be hard for me to break because that's something I consistently do. So for him, he's the person like, once he smells red meat and he got something that he likes to do, he's on it all the time. So I but foresee you, you that. I don't think there's no cap in her story. Like, this came out of nowhere. No, there's, there's probably some fluff on it to make him look extra bad. But yeah. who's to say where that fluff is? Okay. It could be on the great part, but not the rest. Okay. okay. Or it could be, you know, so I don't, I, that's what I said, I don't know. But she's not gaining anything from this. It's not like she's trying to sue him or this is the way wall explained it earlier this sounded like she was trying to defend himself after he made a comment about some he called a sex worker yeah and, and, the, and now the, she's trying lawsuit. to defend herself is she it's trying to like defense so is she I mean, trying is... yeah no go ahead yeah the floor is yours man uh yo yo tell her what up miles what up willer um all right, before what I said, but before I say what I said, hold on. Know what I'm saying because we don't want to. Yeah. Hold on. Before Absolutely. just before that, right quick. Philip said that's another generational thing. Everyone has to bring everything to social media. Right. And nothing can be behind closed doors. Yeah, I agree with this that. Is, this is a fact. Uh, Marine said, "I think him being an absent father is true, but as far as him doing the other wild stuff, is cat." Yeah. Okay. I think there's some foul play, just not to be not to the extremes of graping her. Like, yeah, the mental abuse is there, but physical abuse it can be capped or maybe true. Um, okay. I'm- <laughs> yo, buddy, man, I ain't even gonna read that. That's wild. <laughs> Fifty go great. Google is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I right, listen. Nah, I kind of feel like 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 five. Know what I'm saying from the standpoint of, okay. I think there's there's some truth. There's some truth. Know what I mean, in there, you know, sprinkled in there, here and there. Know what I'm saying, but I do think there's definitely some fluff, there's some uh, added, you know, some yeah, some know, baking soda, certain things to make him look worse. Yeah. You know, than what he is. But in the same token, yo, listen, I don't know, old girl, but I don't know if I'm gonna take her word for too much. You just on you you on paperwork. You know what I'm saying? They got you as a sex worker. That's you know crazy. Saying? So that's crazy. You know, little, little I don't sex know what's worker going is on. crazy. <laughs> and she definitely was in a picture and all that with, 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 with Diddy and all that, you know, holding yeah. hands and walking off and all that. You know what I mean, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, that's that's insane, man. Why do first of all, I want to know what do we can't answer right. this because we're not a female, but right. I would love to know why women do that. Like, if you know right. these are two powerful men that you know, right? Two you know, men who you know, right? It's not they, feeling each other. Yeah, you know, fifty been throwing jabs for, for I don't know how long already. That be so. You know, they don't right. rock with each other, so you know this is that bullshit. I'm saying like. Yeah, this is that fuckery. You know, people gonna say some people gonna say, "Yo, but you can't help who you fall in love with." Or blah, blah. Yo, listen, there's a hundred gazillion million niggas out here, right, bro? There's no way you just happen to fall in Diddy's lap. Come on, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying, and knowing <laughs> Diddy, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a strategic, you know, a strategic thing. You know what I mean? Because he know he don't fuck with a nigga. Now it's like, look, your bitch is over here. I'm it's saying that, your baby it's, mom's is over here. It's nasty work, man. It's just it's, it's really disgusting because they sharing by bio- lot. They sharing fluids. Nasty. Yeah, yeah. I said you getting into the nasty. I'm just saying because she definitely boning both of them. You know what I mean? 
So it's like, yo, yeah. you know, it's like, hold on, what about if she go back to Diddy and then she go back to Fifty and then Fifty? That's only two dudes. Did we know chicks that's worse out here? So I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Great, I take two dudes. You get what I'm saying? They billionaires. They millionaires. So they they probably taking necessary precautions rather than Joanna down the street that is yeah. slept with everybody on the block. And you thinking that's your boot thing? <laughs> Maybe she gearing up for a book. Yo, and, 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 and yeah. I, I definitely this is why I feel like you know there might be some truth splattered in there is because you know the father thing that I'm saying the absentee father thing you know yeah. like five said you know we've heard this before when it you know pertaining the fifth you know what I'm saying you know yeah um shit we've seen it play out in the public like literally you know what I mean between him and sons or his son you know what I mean right. so. I think, you know, for some people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this might be a form of, you know, maybe Fifth don't consider that being an absentee father or not being a father. Maybe he just consider that a sacrifice for the amount of work that he feel he got to put in. Absolutely. To stay afloat at the position that he's in. You know yeah, what I'm let's saying? speak on that when you finish. Sir. Do we agree with that or do I agree with that? In the sense of, you know, as far as being a father, no. Now, I mean, I still think you able and you capable of playing both. You know what I'm saying? And being both. Especially if it's like she's saying and they one mile apart and she literally right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know how true that is, but if, come on. So, I, I want to speak on that. So, I do, I agree. I do want to say this, though. How you were raised also changes your perspective about how you deal with your kids. If I don't know if that if you if you get what I mean by that, so like she might have been raised where like her mom and dad was always around. Her mom and dad or dad might have did a nine to five and he came home different, right? Fifty raised by his grandmother, parents different approach to kids completely because they might not have been brought up in that same environment, so they don't know how to reciprocate that in a sense yeah so the 10 times in two years sounds like an exaggeration right like it could have been like he could have had his kid i I don't know if those are accurate numbers but most of the time when a woman's mad or respond to something she gives you an exaggerated of whatever that you were doing and make it seem like you really wasn't doing what you was doing right so 10 times out of 10 times out of two years i'm taking that maybe you know once once or twice every month whatever that you've seen your kid, it could have been more than that. You could have had them every weekend for the month, you know, every month or whatever the case, whatever the case may be, thinking he's trying to spend time with his kid, but he is busy, right? Now, I agree with Wall on the side, like, you got to make time to spend time with your kid, right? Especially after the, the whole situation with the first kid. But in this midst of him trying to spend time with his son, he's been popping. I don't think he knows how to manage that. And he put his work life before his kids, it sounds like. I see videos with him and the kids together. I don't I right. don't know. I don't right. yeah, yeah. That kid, you can tell that kid is attached to him. So I don't know how much but, of that but, I believe. That's why I said her is probably a little yeah, exaggerated yeah. with the ten I, times it's I two mean, years. but in the same token now I'm saying we 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 come on. Uh I definitely get what you're saying, but we see instances, and I'm not saying this is his instance because we all know, but we see yeah. instances where, you know, parents play to social media, you know? Mm. They're not yeah. parents. They're not yeah, around absolutely. their kids yeah. like that, but they yeah. go post pictures anytime they are around them or yeah. video, you know what I'm saying? And it looks like, oh, yeah, they, I mean, they would they kill time, I mean? Next thing you know, you know, that's a once a month thing or something. Know what I mean, so that happens on social media all the time. Not to say that that's what it is with Fifth. Know what I mean, we all know. You feel me? But yeah. Um, and to add to that, Walt, you also—I ain't gonna say you also, but people also understand how difficult it is to deal with a baby mother. She might be saying that, but she probably was also making it harder to see your kids. Oh, I'm here, or you can't come this weekend, or you da da da, and he on a tight schedule. There's a lot of things that could play in this, and then she could just throw your name in the mud. Like that's what I don't like about it, in a sense. Like, right. Because, but I will say this though. I'm saying, as far as yes, I mean, I think when you at a position like fifth, you know, 
who are we to really, you know, speak on a, you know, amount of the sacrifices that he probably got to put in or yeah, he yeah. had to put in in order to get to that place. But in the same token, I'm saying I, I, I also feel that when you get to that place or when you get to a certain position where he's in, in a position of power, ha, see see what I did there, position of power. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that was fine. That was fine. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, when you in that type of position, you you also have to build and 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 foresee and look past the trees and you have to build shit where you no longer have to be there and it's still moving. The machine yeah. is still moving. You don't constantly have to be there all the time. You know what I'm saying? Now there are some people, you know what I mean? And and I and I'll attribute that to myself. I'm very hands-on with anything and everything that I do. So even if I have a store or something to that nature, obviously we this is not, you know, to the extreme of, you know, the position that Fifth is in. But I'm just saying, even if I have a store and it runs itself, I got people in there, you know, handling. Like, I'm still going to be in that motherfucker. Like, even though I probably ain't got to be in there at all. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm hands-on. Yeah. yeah. And I do see that from Fifth. Like he's a very he looked like he one of them hands on niggas. Like he has to oversee yeah, absolutely. everything. You can tell. That's one of he's his traits. That's one of his good, yeah, yeah, that's one of his good traits. On. I'm saying, but you also have to be able to balance. You have to balance that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause money at the end of the day don't it it, it it's only a substitute. It don't buy happiness. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> Philip Haycock, we can't pull up the text if he's having issues with the program. Yeah. Philip Haycock said 50 made that call at Homeland Security on Diddy. <laughs> wow. That's crazy, man. <laughs>